Let me ask you all a question. So raise your hand if this question applies to you. Who here in the audience wishes they were smarter? Or were more attractive, whatever that means to you? Or were more athletic? I know this is a far stretch, but sometime in the near future, it might actually be possible to change these kind of features. How, you may ask? This is all made possible through gene editing. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Stella, and I'm a 10th grade student here at WAB. In today's TEDx speech, I'll be discussing the positive and negative implications for the future of genome editing. In 2019, you may have heard of the scandal that Chinese scientist He Jiankui caused with the birth of twin girls with genetically modified embryos. The Chinese sought couples who had endured HIV-related stigma and wanted to help spare their children from that fate by drastically reducing their risk of ever becoming infected. The scientists found a Chinese couple in which the father was HIV positive and the mother HIV negative. The couple agreed to volunteer through consent and the experiment was carried out in secrecy. In the experiment, the Chinese scientists claimed to have made mutations in the gene named CCR5, which is a gene that codes for the protein that allows HIV to enter cells. The scientists used the, used the gene editing tool CRISPR, which is short for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats. By engineering genetic mutations into the girls' human embryos, the scientists opened up a new feared era in which science could ultimately rewrite the gene pool for upcoming generations. During the process, he also failed to comply with established safety and protection guidelines. He received worldwide criticism, with scientists and ethicists around the world calling his experiment irresponsible and premature. He was sentenced to prison for three years by being found guilty of practicing medicine illegally. However, on a brighter note, did anything good come out of his experiment? What does this mean for the future of genome editing? And could genome editing actually be beneficial for the future of humanity? According to the World Health Organization, there are currently more than 10,000 diseases that are caused by a single gene mutation, and even more that are caused by multiple mutations in a gene. With so many fatal diseases, there is clearly a great demand for solutions to prevent or decrease such disease mortality rates. With the help of gene editing technology, scientists are able to take out or immobilize specific genes that are responsible for these diseases. With the case of the Chinese twins, their CCR5 gene was immobilized in order to help protect the girls from getting an HIV infection, as their father had suffered from AIDS. By eradicating specific genes from current generations, we can reduce the, the likelihood that their offspring have that gene. In the long term, we could protect humankind from entire genetic diseases and eventually remove them from the gene pool. As a consequence of a healthier population, the global economy would also benefit in various ways. First, People with an overall better health are more economically productive, as they are able to work more efficiently in their roles and miss fewer working days. In turn, a more efficiently working economy would likely improve certain aspects of society, further flourishing human development. Second, as healthier people tend to live longer and are naturally inclined to be more invested in their financial needs for the future, this will lead in a rise of savings rates. Furthermore, as disease is prevalent in poverty, a disease-free world may also contribute to getting poor and unhealthy people out of poverty. Considerable health improvements are crucial to break poor countries out of the cycle of poverty. In our world, the wealth gap is enormous. By investing money and providing treatment to those under the poverty line, we will be able to help them make significant advancements in their lives, which will ultimately help improve global inequality. However, at the same time, gene editing comes with many risks, and not only those from an ethical standpoint. The costly and highly complex gene editing procedures will likely limit the number of patients that are able to make use of the technology. Excessively high-priced treatments would only give the wealthy and upper class the opportunity to afford these treatments, while the middle and lower classes would not have the finances to do so. As a result, only the rich would be protected from genetic diseases, while the middle and lower classes would continue to suffer. This would continue to increase the ever-increasing wealth gap and global inequality. Imagine a world in which the rich and healthy dominated the world and the poor were left to suffer from genetic diseases. This is essentially the world we live in. Furthermore, gene editing will likely lead to an increase in the addictive drive for the perfect child, also known as the designer baby. Gene editing will lead to more parents wanting to choose the perfect characteristics for their, chi for their child, which will ultimately create unrealistic societal standards of perfection 
and further contribute to discrimination and inequality. With the Chinese scientists, although he focused on primarily take, immobilizing the CCR5 gene from the girls as they wanted to, wanted to be protected from AIDS, it is not hard to fathom how new gene editing technologies could be, de be deployed in the wrong hands. Imagine a world in which racist, authoritarian, or even genocidal governments of the future controlled our society through gene editing. Besides the obvious ethical concerns, we are also unaware of what the physical consequence consequences of gene editing may be. While the Chinese scientists' intention with this experiment was to solely provide the twin girls with immunity to HIV, evidence has also displayed that he may have unintentionally increased the twins' risk for cancer. According to him, no underlying health effects have been noticed to date. However, identifying such health, eff health effects could take years, by which the damage already would have been done. Today, scientists simply do not know whether immobilizing or taking out any specific genes will have other unintended health consequences that may follow. The genetic code is extremely complex and interconnected. Even a small, well-intentioned modification could have serious complications. All in all, before developing and advancing with genome editing, scientists must carefully consider how their research fits into society and reflect on the strain that pursuit of objectivity has on the repercussions of science. Genetic biotechnology provides us with the tools to cure and prevent human disease and to help flourish human development, but only if the use is regulated by morality. However, as stated by George Q. Daly, the dean of Harvard Medical School, it is time to move forward from debates about ethical permissibility to outline the path to clinical translation in order to bring this technology forward. <laughs>